Hey guys, Jules here from snoozecentral.org. Now if you're like me, actually a lot of you are, a lot of snoozers buy snooze in bulk. The, uh, the, the great thing is a snooze can be stored for up to a year past its expiration date if it's stored properly in a freezer. So in this video I'm going to show you two ways you can vacuum pack snooze for freezer storage. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and All right, there we go. Now, if you would, just please join me in the kitchen. All right, guys, so uh, welcome to my refrigerator. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open my snooze drawer. Got quite a bit of snooze in here. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab a roll. And if you would, we're going to head to the dining room table now and I'll demonstrate to you how to vacuum pack the snooze for long dorm storage. Now for the first demonstration what we'll need is a regular gallon sized freezer bag and a regular drinking straw. Set that to the side. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and start popping the cans off the roll. You just take all the cans off the roll. Alright, so I've got nine cans of snooze here. That's all that fits in the gallon size bag. There's nine cans. Well, you could probably fit more, but I put them in flat like this. I'll show you. Just put them in flat. All right, so once you have your nine cans of snooze in your gallon size freezer bag, you'll just take one end and zip a little bit and you want to stay about an inch and a half from the end so this side right here where my middle finger is is still open so in the side that's still open what you'll do is you'll take your drinking straw and work it in at an angle between two cans you'll want to put the straw just barely up against the edge of the two cans then what you do is you go ahead and make sure that the rest of it's sealed and you want to push the straw to the very very end of your freezer bag so that up to where my finger is is sealed so you just have maybe a half inch of of unsealed area so for the next step you'll just put your mouth on the end of the straw and suck the air out and then when once you get all the air out you pull the straw out really fast and finish sealing it'll be hard to stop and show but uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate right here for you So if you can see that, these are now vacuum packed. You can now take these, stick them in your freezer flat and not worry about any complaints about there's no room for frozen food storage. And these will stay good for a year past their expiration date. Now the second way to do this is my personal favorite is the Ziploc vacuum system. And what it is is it's a little hand pump, little pump, and you can buy the starter kit which comes with the pump and I believe it's uh, two quart size or four quart size bags. Um, it's, I think it's under it's under six or seven dollars. It's been a while since I bought it. But the what you'll need to do is go ahead and if you decide to go this route is to go ahead and pick up the Ziploc vacuum gallon size bags. It's it's a much more efficient system than using a straw and a free and a regular freezer bag. And they're a little expensive. There are on the expensive side. For example, this box only comes with eight bags. However, you can reuse the bags up to a certain. Uh, I'd I'd say roughly three or four times you can reuse them before the 
valve on the bag starts to leak. And if it leaks, you can just put tape over it. Here's what the bag looks like. Right here where my finger is, that's the one-way valve where the pump gets attached to once you have whatever you'd like to vacuum pack. In our case, we are going to vacuum pack smooths. So what you'll do is you just open the bag, and the same thing as before, I lay them flat. You can, you can probably fit a lot more in if you did rolls, but space is a concern with me, so I like to keep them as low profile as possible without getting any complaints. So what you do is you just fill up your bag. Just fill up the bag with snooze the same way, three across. It'll only fit nine cans that way. Once you have your nine cans in there, you don't have to worry about any air that might be trapped in the bag. So what you do is you just go ahead and seal it all the way across. And I do it twice. I go back and forth just to make sure that it's got a good seal. So what you'll do is right here, there's a circle. And it says on the back, has the instructions on the bag too. But just remember the circle right there where the valve is, you just go ahead and stick the pump on there. Press it down firmly. It has a rubber, rubber gasket on the end right there. You just press it down firmly and just and you'll be able to see it pulling the air out. And I usually pump it until it just it doesn't pull any air out and the and the cans don't get smushed together uh, from the vacuum. So I just keep going a few more times. That's it. And these are now vacuum packed. And you can put these in your freezer now. And there's nothing to it. Let's say you want to pull one out. No big deal. Break the vacuum, open the bag, pull out a can, back and forth again, and you just put your pump back on there. And they're sealed again. There's nothing to it. Now you can see why this is my favorite system. It's very easy, it's simple, it requires no work, and you can just put cans in, take cans out as you please.